come on. Hi. I know we have never met before. Um, I'm Cheryl, Meryl, Meryl Cheryl. I, um, please sit down. I work here at Hollywood, um, here at the Artist Law, that, um, I've been filtering some complaints we've been having about a situation on the East Coast, and your name's been coming up. Well, it's one of the biggest complaints, actually. Oh, no, don't, don't feel uncomfortable. Oh, no, no. Um. <laughs> oh, it's milk juice. It's from the milk. Do you believe me? Okay. All right. Well, anyhow, I'm assuming let you know Dana Dillon, Bob Dillon's daughter, right? Yes, you've taken money to, right? So you do know who she is. <laughs> and I just I want you to be very comfortable. And because this show is so popular, well, I don't know if it's that popular. <laughs> I don't know. I don't keep up with things. That, um, I'm just going to start right here. When I've been getting the phone calls about the significant trauma, and you know what trauma is, Phoebe. It's something that completely alters your life. <laughs> PTSD. Have you ever heard of PTSD, Phoebe? It is something, now, Cheryl, I am not a psychologist. I, I didn't go to school for that. I'm just here <laughs> taking phone calls, getting stressed by the hour, trying to give people a, a soul. But post-traumatic stress disorder can take years or a lifetime to get over Miss Phoebe Bridges, Bridgers. <laughs> So, what I've been understanding is Dana has not been al allowed to let anyone touch her for almost uh, a year and a half now because of sexual abuse from you, Phoebe Bridges. Can you explain how that happened, that if anyone tries to touch her? It's called flooding, and she floods into tears and cries. Can you explain how that happened? I'm really curious. It seemed to have ruined all her, um, you know, personal, intimate relations. Miss Bridges, Miss Phoebe, could you explain? We're dying to know. <laughs> so, from what I understand, you had a relationship with Mr. Ryan Adams. Can you tell me um, when that was? You'll have to ask Mandy. I don't remember. Oh, how interesting. So, you had a relationship with him, the physical man, and then someone. Yes, he asked recorded Dana me. To listen Dana to one knew of about it. Like motion sickness or something. And you, you John. Met her on the skateboard with a helmet on. And um, once again, someone from this show asked Dana to listen to a song. John. And then, uh, it looks like it may be. A year later, you openly said that he was abusive. I made comments. Yeah, when the news broke about the texting about with the dean. Verbally online. Using the F word. And then um, 
magically on Dana's birthday, uh, one of your CDs shows up as her only birthday present. <laughs> From her family actually the last birthday present she's ever had from her family was your cd <laughs> which i haven't seen a cd in a long time and i am an old lady but uh, who gets cds for presents anymore how desperate were you and if you weren't let's just say still friends with mr adams and publicly saying that he was a creep and a jerk and emotional abuser. How did Miss Dana get your album? Once again, via through something of the show. Can you explain that, please? Yeah, we're still friends. <laughs> interesting to me that you're publicly not friends but it seems like in the show they protect you a lot and um don't talk about what you have horrifically done to miss dylan yeah and um is it because of your age or are you still friends with these people why is that because I've and done then sexual like acts with some every of the people time on the show. Abuse has talked about your um, making that face. <laughs> yeah. Laughing, smiling, taking pictures with Dana's mother, laughing and smiling and making fun of the serious trauma of sexual abuse. By the way, um, Phoebe, we don't have any blueberries today. We have these um, ba micro baby carrots. Would you like a, a tiny little baby carrot right now? Oh, you're good. I'm sorry. I can't tell you how much money I've made this year in the last couple of years because of this show. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> With some concerts with guitars. Also, Phoebe, do you feel like you might have been sexualizing Ryan Adams a little too? Do you ever think about him and his feelings and his emotions? Probably not, right? But you allowed it. <sighs> okay. They might send me to jail. Can I go to juvenile? For sexual harassing a, a person? Really? Maybe I'll be lucky and go to juvie. <laughs> so, Miss Bridges, <laughs> what's gonna happen is Dana is not gonna ever be feel like she can be intimate again. Cause if you <laughs> She's not going to feel like a man can touch her or be near her because of what you did to her and you laughed about with her own mother. You ruined her sexuality. And her one chance in the future to find happiness with a man and be with him intimately. You are the biggest problem with her sexuality, Phoebe. <laughs> What's it feel like to ruin someone's sexuality? Okay, you can leave now.